Okay, so in this project, we're going to work a little bit with the HTML5 audio tag, and we're going to create this soundboard. So we have these different effects. Let me just give you a, a sample. Hopefully you can hear that. So basically we click a button, it makes a sound effect. And if the sound is still playing and we click another one, it's gonna stop that effect and start the next one. So we can do this by using audio tags. Um, so in HTML5, you have the audio tag. You can show controls. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do everything through JavaScript. So basically if you capture an, an audio element with you know get element by ID or whatever, you have some methods and, and properties on that object that you bring in, such as play, um, pause, and, and so on. So this is the MDN docs, if you want to take a look at that and see the different methods. What we're doing is pretty simple, but I think it's a, a nice addition to the course, working with the audio element. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we're going to start on our soundboard, and there's actually not a lot of code for this project, so we can most likely get this done in one video. So let's call this soundboard. And in the HTML here, we're going to want to use the HTML5 audio tag. So let's say audio, enter, and we need a source, and that's going to come from sounds. Now, I have this folder called sounds with the with applause mp3 boo mp3 you can get these within the github repository for this course uh, or the the live demo as well you can just you know right click and download the sounds or you can use your own sounds so i'm going to point to that folder and then applause i'm also going to give it an id with whatever that sound effect is in this case applause all right, and then we're going to copy this down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we want to change these up. So this one here, I'm going to Command D, select the next applause, and change both of those to boo. Okay, then we'll grab this one here and this. Let's change this one to gasp. And then this one here. I'm going to change those to, to da. And then let's grab this one. And that's, this one's going to be victory. And then this last one here is going to be wrong. Okay, so make sure you change the ID and the actual name of the file. And then the last thing we need is just a container for our buttons. I'm going to have an ID of buttons. Now, if I save this, we're not going to see anything because the buttons are going to be generated from the JavaScript based on each sound. So I'm actually going to jump into the script.js and create an array here called sounds. So it's going to be just a bunch of strings with the, you know, applause, boo, gasp, ta-da. Uh, victory and wrong all right so it has all of our sound effects and then what we'll do is loop through these so let's say sounds for each for each sound I'm gonna run a function and I'm gonna create a button so we'll create a variable and set it to document dot create element we want to create a button and then I want to give that a class. So we'll take that button variable and classless.add. We want to add the class of BTN for styling. And then the inner text, set the inner text to the sound itself. Okay, so it'll have these up here will be the inner text of the button. All right, and then we want to. Um, have an event list. Actually, you know what? Let's just insert these first and style them. So we'll just say document and then get element by D. We're going to get the buttons container and we're going to append child and pass in the button. All right. So as soon as I do that, we can now see our buttons. So let's jump into our style sheet. This is going to be pretty simple. Uh, we're going to use the Poppins font. So let's change Roboto here and here to Poppins. And then let's change the weight to 200, 400. And the body, I'm going to give a background color of RGB. 
161, 100, 223, and let's do, uh, let's see, we have display flex, and basically the buttons are going to be placed, well, yeah, we'll set the flex wrap here so that they go on to the next line. All right, and then the flex direction, we can get rid of that. We want it to be a row. Um, align items, center, justify content. Let's also text align to the center. And I think that should do it for the body. Now for the buttons, remember those have a class of BTN. So we're gonna set the background color of that to Rebecca Purple. All right, let's set the border radius to five pixels. Let's set the border to none. Let's set the color to white. We'll break them apart, margin, we'll do one rem. And let's set the padding to 1.5 rem top and bottom, and then three rem left and right. I'm gonna increase the font size to 1.2 rem and let's for the font family we want to inherit and that should do it all right so we have our buttons now they don't do anything yet actually let's get rid of uh, the outline so button focus set the outline to none and then let's let's also add a cursor, we'll say cursor pointer. And let's do a hover too. So we'll say uh, BTN hover, and I'm just gonna set opacity to 0 0.9. Okay, now back in our JavaScript here, where we loop through each button, we wanna add an event listener onto each one. So right under where we set the inner text, let's take the button and let's add an event listener. And we want to listen for a click. And when we click, we want to run a function. And then I'm going to basically um, take the audio. So we want to select, let's do document dot get element by D. Now, Remember, all of these audio tags have an ID of whatever the sound effect is, which is they're all in the, this array we're looping through. So the ID that we want to find is going to be that particular sound. Now, with HTML5, we have a JavaScript API for, for audio elements. And one of the functions or, or methods in that API is play. Oops. So we want to say dot play. And you can only do this, obviously, if it's, a, if it's an audio element, which these are. So that will actually play it. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go over. Hopefully you guys can hear this. I'll turn this up a little. So if I click applause, you can hear it. Now one thing I want to show you is if I click multiple buttons, it's going to just play them over each other. So... Okay, so they do play over each other, and, and that may be fine, but I want to make it so when we if, if something's playing and we click another button, then it's going to stop the one that's playing, or all of them that are playing before that, and then play that one. So, let's go right above where we actually play it, and let's run a function called, we'll say, stop songs. All right, and then we'll go down here, make sure you're outside of the for each, and create a function called stop songs. And we're gonna take our sounds array and for each through them, and say for each sound. We'll create a variable called song, and this is gonna be, you know, this right here. So we're going to select the element by D. We want that particular sound. And we'll take that sound or that song, just because we called it song here. And again, we're talking about an audio element. So we, we were able to do dot play on it. We can also do dot pause. 
okay? And there is, there actually isn't a dot stop, which you would think. So what we do is we pause and we set the current time because audio tags have a, a property of current time and we just reset it to zero, okay? So that's how we can stop a song. Now, if I save this, Okay, so now you can see that when I click one, if something's playing, it stops the one that's playing. All right, so just this gives you a, a little glimpse into the HTML5 audio API, and you can do a lot of cool things. Uh, in my, tw my JavaScript 20 projects course, we have, uh, you know, an audio player that plays different songs. You can pause and play and stop and all that and show the time. So um, there's a lot of things you can do with it in terms of creating little music players and stuff, but this is kind of an introductory project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's move on to the next project. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified with my latest videos and updates.